Okay, on to numbers 8 through 10 on the study guide. Number 8 says, um, estimate, round to the nearest tenth. So again, um, we go to the tenths place right here. Tenth. Remember, tenth, T-H-S means after the decimal. Tenths place. So both these numbers, it's got to put a little underline on them so we know what numbers we're dealing with. I go to the 8, I look to the right. There's a 3 over there. Well, 3 is less than 5, so I do not round the 8 up. So we've got 6.8. Okay, uh, I go to the next number. It's 4.5. Go to the tenths place. There's a 5. I look next door. On the right, there's a 0. 0 is less than 5, so I don't round up. So this problem is going to be 6.8 minus 4.5. Notice I have one number after the decimal. That's tenths. That's what we're rounded to, tenths. So 8 minus 5 is 3, and 6 minus 4 is 2. And don't forget to line up your decimal. Addition, subtraction, line up the decimal. No buttons on a shirt. Okay, so next one is um, estimate. Round to the ones place. These are getting even easier. One's place is this place value right in front of the decimal. Okay, start at a 9, we're calling it 2. 2 is less than a 5, so I'm not going to round it up. It's going to leave the same. So I've got 9 plus 4.97. Okay, look over to the right. Ooh, the 9 is greater than 5, so that means to round up the previous place value. So I'm going to round that 4 up to a 5. I just want to go, I want to be in the ones place. So I round it up and these back numbers disappear. They're gone. All gone. So I've got um, 9 plus 5. Now, there are no decimals in this number, so I'm not going to write one number over the other. Pretty simple addition problem. 9 plus 5 is 14. Okay. Number 10 and 11 are uh, estimate round using compatible numbers. Compatible numbers are numbers that work well together. Numbers you can use to calculate an answer in your head. So um, number 10, there's a couple of different solutions you can use. But when I look at this, um, I see 20 times 4. So I round to the 21, down to 20. I round the 4.23 to 4. And I can do 20 times 4 in my head pretty easily. Another possible solution would be 21 times 4. Again, most people can multiply that in their head. That, that's a good answer, too. And one possible last answer would be 20 times 5. And that equals 100. So any one of those answers would be fine. Now this one, I'm looking. For, we're looking for a little, uh, something a little more specific to really test out your knowledge of compatible numbers. Look at this, 53.98. Well, the first thing I think is I can round that to 54. And I can round 5.97 to 6. We definitely want to round the whole numbers. And 54 divided by 6 is 9. So if you know your multiplication tables really well, you should see that 54 divided by 6 would be the compatible numbers that you're looking uh, to use for an answer here. If you did, by chance, divide 55 by 5. It's okay. It'll work. And you could also, if you really want to stretch it, do 50 divided by 5 equal 10. But we're really looking for this right here. Uh, really test your knowledge of compatible numbers. Okay, that was numbers 8 through 11.